Good morning. This is Pastor Lynn with Goodland United Methodist Church. We're up to number 13. Give away something valuable. Hmm. What could that be? If you had to evacuate your home and had one hour to pack your car with everything that was valuable to you, above and beyond your family, your pets, and your old tax returns, what would you choose to save? Make a mental list, then consider why these possessions are so important to you. If it was me, the first thing I would grab would be a family photo album, because some family members have already passed, and you can't get those pictures back again. Sometimes, items are of value simply because of their memories they represent. The funky teacup your best friend gave you. You know, that one that says half a cup of tea and it's only half a cup. I mean, sliced down the middle from top to bottom. The seashell you brought back from the best vacation ever. The drawing your daughter made in preschool. The wedding photos in which you and your spouse look as if you're barely entered puberty. You may consider these items priceless, but they have no intrinsic value other than being touchstones to the past. On the other hand, some of the possessions that own a piece of your heart may be more tied up in self-centeredness than sentiment. Perhaps the stereo system you saved for, the necklace you dropped hints for, the dream car you worked overtime for. It may even be the home that houses all of your prized possessions. The truth is, when you go to heaven, none of these things will be going with you. So why not start loosening your grip on them a little early? Maybe my husband needs to take note to this. I mean, after all, we have 40,000 or plus books. I don't know about that. You don't need to start big. Donate something to charity that's not broken or worn out. Maybe it no longer holds your interest, but someone else would be thrilled with it. Give something to another family simply because they need it more than you do. You don't need to turn your home into a hollow shell. God never said owning things was wrong. However, he did say it was harder for a rich man to get into heaven than for a camel to fit through the eye of a needle. The less tightly you hold on to your earthly possessions, the more contentment you will find while you live here on earth. So, how about it? What do you have sitting on the shelf? Something of value to you that you could give away. This is Pastor Lynn. Have a good and godly week.